What's going on guys? Today we have apparently a new trailer which is showcasing some story elements of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I want to give a shout out to James Blurginess for showing me this and apparently there's also some subtitle, ugh, some subtitles to this thing so we'll be able to actually keep up with what's going on. I was informed of this trailer's existence a few hours ago but there wasn't really any kind of way to watch it translated but now there is so we are going to be watching through this together and seeing if there's anything new that we can pick up from Xenoblade from this whole thing and see if there's anything in general that gets us hyped up. So let's see what this brand new Chronicles X trailer has to offer. Apparently it's a story trailer so we'll see exactly what that means. Let's go. Like, I can't express to you guys how excited I am for this game. Like, there's so much to explore in this, and I referenced it to Final Fantasy XV so many times, because it just... Ah. What? Is this before Earth was destroyed? Yeah. Oh shit. Squidward fucked up niggas. Yeah, very story based indeed. Hey, are those humans engaging with humans? Apparently there's humans fighting humans? Yo, this game looks like it's got story in it, man. My nigga Squidward? Man, life looks so normal in those parts. Jesus. What? Yep, she's there, right? What? What? Yo, what's going on? This shit is crazy. Yo, what's going on here? All right, so today we are once more shown that Xenoblade Chronicles X, even though it does have really immersive gameplay and an, amazing, and an amazingly beautiful world, at the same time, there does seem to be a real driving force behind that story. And some of you may think that I was just obsessed with the open world nature of this game right away, but the thing that really pulled me in was the way the story started and how it, it begins with such a fucking cataclysmic event, the end of the fucking earth, and then it evolves from that into some kind of survival instinct based game where now it's like you're on a planet that's abandoned and you have to work together with the people in your colony in order to make life work for humanity, but apparently they're still being pursued. Apparently there's some kind of assault still happening on humanity on this new planet. And here's the thing, right? That was just one of the ships that escaped from the Earth. There may just be other colonies of humans that are on different planets. And we all saw that from when Earth was being evacuated. There were ships flying out of there. And you know what? This is the thing that really makes Xenoblade X seem like it's such a massive game because the multiplayer scale is one thing. And I already heard about the 32 player multiplayer and then how you can team up in pairs of four. I mean, excuse me, in, in um, groups of four. But 
now we have also the open world nature. I mean, it's a beautiful fucking game with incredible exploration options. But the whole thing with the dolls being able to fly around or drive around, it's amazing. And then we have this story, which looks like it's such an emotionally pulling tale that weighs really heavy on the heart at the same time. Like, I don't know, man. It just seems like really sad and somber. But it, it's, it naturally would be considering that most of the fucking population of humans is gone at this point but i mean damn dude i don't know about you guys but even though the story does look like it i don't know it looks a little bit cliche it looks a little bit hollow just a tiny tiny little bit but you know not enough for me to say that it's bad or anything nowhere near but you know it's just there's just a lot going on, it seems, at the same time. And this, I cannot wait to see how the story ties in with the gameplay. Because a lot of these instances where there's like, you know, for example, these guys flying over the ocean, these look like a lot of elements that could be implemented in the gameplay. So my character, oh, I'm part of this squad, which has to like protect people when we're flying over the ocean and whatnot. Are there going to be ocean battles with the cat with the um, dolls? I keep saying cast because of Final Fantasy, but are they gonna be like ocean? You know, it, it kind of makes you wonder where the gameplay will tie in with these cutscenes because we know the cutscenes are in the game right so when will these occur in the gameplay and will the gameplay really be engaging when it gets to these instances that's what i really want to know but so far it seems like it's an emotionally pulling tale the characters seem to come and go but i'm sure that you know when we play the game in actuality there will be plenty of time to get bonded with these characters and another thing that you have to remember is that this game is going to be coming out in japan way before america so by the time it gets out to the USA, we're most likely going to have more of a watered down experience because we'll have so many things from the early Japanese release shown to us. I guess that's part of the, yeah, I guess this is part of the territory, you know? Like any country that gets games first and then another region gets it, the region that gets it after the fact is going to have a dampened experience. I'm almost going to stay away completely from Xenoblade Chronicles X information until the game is released in America. I really wish it could have been a dual region release, but hey, whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think about this story trailer in the comments below. Did it really like get at you? Like, Did it pull at your heartstrings or is it just something generic that you've seen all the time and you're not really caring too much about it? For me, it didn't really pull at my heartstrings too much, but it, it, it engaged me. Like, I was wondering, what's going on here? Who's that? Like, why are they saying this? Is this going to affect the gameplay of the world in some way? You know what I mean? I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.